What's up guys, it's another day and another opportunity to laugh daily. So today Justin and I decided that we're gonna make our own homemade masks and I'm at my house. And I'm here at my house. And Andrew and I, when looking online, have seen a bunch of outrageous masks and outfits that people are wearing out in public. So we thought, why don't we make our own mask, except let's make them for each other. So how is this video gonna work? So the idea is, I'm gonna have you go around your house, but I'm going to pick out the items for your mask slash outfit. Okay, so I'll do the same with you? Yep. Okay. And it can be whatever items we want, but we just have to get creative on how we're gonna make it a mask slash outfit. I'm excited because you and Brittany have a lot of art supplies and a lot of random things to create artistic things. Just be prepared. You already have an idea of what you're going to no, do? No, I have zero idea. Dude, I, this is gonna be one crafty looking mess. I already have like a general idea of what I wanna do for Andrew. I definitely wanna make it very cringy. After we build each other's mask and outfits, we have to go out in public into a store and buy something while we're wearing our homemade masks. It's probably gonna be pretty embarrassing. All right, so you wanna go first? For one of your first items, I need to know if you have this specific item. Okay. Do you have swimming goggles? Oh man, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. All right, go grab some swimming goggles for your first item. Okay. Oh, Guys, he has no idea what I'm about to make for Andrew. I want Andrew to look so awkward that even Andrew is cringed is out it? when he goes into the store. It's hopefully gonna be Is it on the like bottom? Aha! Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Did you find the swimming goggles? There's gotta be more. The only one in here are kids goggles. Okay, here we go. Swimming goggles. Let me see what these look like. Are you wanting me to like put them on and you can see them? Yeah, just put them on real quick just so we can all see what they look like. Okay. <laughs> I already know this is going to come together beautifully. Oh, uh, nuts. All right, bring me to the kitchen for your next item. Okay. So what I wanna go with for Andrew's outfit, I want it to look super multi-use. So I want him to basically be covered from head to toe, if possible, in something so strange. And I want him to get an item from every part of the house. So we got some swimming goggles. Maybe we wanna get him something from the garage, some food item, maybe some bags. I don't know, we're gonna have to see. Andrew's gonna have to take us around. All right, I am in the kitchen. Let me see the kitchen. I just wanna see what kind of food you all have, maybe what items you may have. Okay, so we've got uh, some nice little variety of fruits of sorts. Uh, some pots and pans. Uh, show me your drawer where your like uh, plastic bags are and such. You mean like Ziploc bags? Uh, go to the right. Like Is that clean wrap and tin foil? Uh, let's make one of your other items tin foil. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's two items so far. Uh huh. Okay, where to now? There's got to be something in the garage. Okay, just keep on taking me around the garage. I gotta scope out the area. Okay, so I've got some different tools. Probably shouldn't have you put bring me tools in public. <laughs> Do you have a swim vest in the garage? Like a floaty swim vest? Yes. Right here. Can you just put it on? I wanna see what it looks like. Okay, one second. Here, here's the idea with the swim vest, guys. I want Andrew to wear the swim vest, but he has no shirt on underneath. So it's just a random swim vest for no reason. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Wow, how, how long is it? Does oh, it go down like pretty far? Yeah, it goes down to like my pant line. It's like, a, it's an adult one, so. <laughs> I have to go out in public looking like a weird scuba diver. Oh, Do you nice. have <laughs> like a big black trash bag? Uh, I have like clear ones. Uh huh. What's that blue thing right next to it? That's a, like a recycle one. So the recycle one is just as big? I think so. Yeah. I do want you to stand out. So let's go with blue, blue bag. Okay. Blue bag. Blue recycle bag. That is item number four. Okay, got it. Go into the pantry, the food pantry. Okay, this is our food pantry. All right, give me like a slow pan of all this. Go to the very bottom. <clears throat> I want you to use an empty 
LaCroix box. Okay. Because <laughs> I have a good idea. All right, so I have laid out all my items that Justin had me get. So I got one, two, three, four, five. So before you have me build my mask, I'm gonna have you get all your supplies and then we'll build them together. Ah, okay. Sounds good. I am a little bit nervous because Andrew is right. We have a lot of arts and crafts supplies here. I don't know what Andrew could possibly build, but all I know is it's going to be hideous. Let's head straight to the art room. Here is a small craft closet. Um, I don't know if you want me to show you anything in here, but it's a few things. Do you have just like a cardboard box? Yes, we have some cardboard boxes. Let's go check them out. All right, I'm in the garage and we have some cardboard box in here. Like an Ikea flattened box, uh -huh. which I drew all over. What's like your biggest box? Do you have like a big, big one or? Put together, this Ikea one is the biggest box we have. Okay, that'll work, grab that. Okay. In y'all's craft supplies, do you have uh, feathers or something like that? Feathers. Yeah. Maybe. This is the chest of supplies with art crafts. All right, that's okay. Do you have, do you have bananas? Oh no. You're only gonna need the peel. So if you want to eat the banana, you can, or save the ban actual banana. So I only need the peel? Yeah, only need the peel. Okay, I got a peel. Okay, put that with your supplies. <laughs> To the right, that like strainer bowl. You want me to grab this strainer? All right, what are you looking for next? I need you to grab some colored yarn or string. Colored yarn, okay. I think my wife. Aha! Ooh! Ooh! You want me to grab these? Yeah. All right. Yeah, need those. Are you, where are you? I'm still in the basement by the storage closet. Okay, go in there, see if you have any pipes or tubes, anything that you can stick your arm in. I'm not sure if I have any arm pipes. <laughs> no. I may just have to go with garbage bag then. Oh, or actually, no. are those clothespins? You want me to grab these clothespins? Yeah. All right, you got it, Captain. I think that is the fifth item. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. Hey guys, I have all my items laid out that Andrew picked. Strainer bowl, banana peel, clothes pins, yarn, a cardboard box, and he also told me to get hot glue gun and scissors. I don't know what he's gonna make out of this. I'm very curious to find out. All right, I've got all my items here. Now I'm waiting for Justin. He's gonna give me the instructions on how to assemble my mask, and whatever is happening here. So. Take it away. So here's how it's going to look. The goggles, obviously you're gonna wear the goggles, but I'm gonna need you to make some sort of weird tin hat contraption. Okay. It needs to cover your entire head. Like just the top of my head or like? Like the top of your head, but even going down like your ears. What you're going to make for your mask, you're gonna cut the LaCroix box. Yeah, so that side's gonna be the front of your mask. So it's gonna be like this. You're gonna have it sticking out like quite a bit. Like this? Yeah, but you're gonna cut the box maybe in half and then use tape to like wrap it around your head and t attach it to the tin foil. Oh my gosh. You can wear a tank top underneath the swim vest, cut the garbage bag. Your whole hand is in the garbage bag and just tape it around your arm. So you'll you'll have skin showing like right here, but the bag's gonna be like come up to here. And you won't even, you won't have finger holes. It's just gonna be an entire bag on your hand. Just. I gotcha, okay. I love it. <laughs> How's that look? And it, comes, it comes to like a point in the back. I'm cutting out a little spot for my knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my like this? This is gonna be so dumb. It's stuck to my beard. Ow! Okay, there's basically the, the gist of this. I just taped together my uh, bag arms, so these things are pretty protective. Andrew just put together his outfit. It is time for my outfit to be put together. Almost confused at the moment, but I know you have a big vision, so. Hopefully the vision comes together. Okay, so step one is going to be your helmet, which is the strainer. Okay. <laughs> 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 
cut a bunch of pieces of different color yarn, like the same length, and you're gonna tape them like coming out of the holes so it looks like a big spaghetti helmet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right? A bunch of different colors, okay? This orangish red, go with this. Okay, I got my four different color flavors of yarn. I've always wanted to make a spaghetti hair helmet. So thank you for this amazing opportunity. Perfect timing. I put a bunch of yarn. Is this enough? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, so next step is the banana peel. What about it? So get like the biggest part of it that's like fully intact. That is gonna be your mask. Oh my gosh, this is going to be hideous. This part of the banana, the biggest part is, uh -huh. is right here. Yep. All right, well, I guess I'll use yellow string. Here's what it looks like up close, guys. I mean, this banana is definitely ready for the dumpster, but instead it's using as a fresh air filtration system for my face. You guys may want to try this at your local store. <laughs> There's bananas flying out the top now. There you go, what do you think? Not bad. Okay, next you're gonna need to build your body armor, which is the cardboard box. Body armor, you say? Well, actually, it's more of kind of like a shopping cart. <laughs> what? You put it on so your head goes through, but also your arms go out the sides. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, would you look at this, guys? I got my box on, I got armholes, and I got a little roof I put my head through. Okay, you're looking pretty good. <laughs> so weird. Hello, everybody. <laughs> well, remember, you're wearing a banana mask and a spaghetti helmet, too. Oh my gosh. But for the final piece, and this is like the whole point of your body armor, right? Is you're gonna be hot gluing the clothes pins to the front of your suit. Cause when you go shopping, you want to eliminate the need to use a shopping cart. So when you find an item, you can just clothes pin it to the front of your suit. That's so awkward. <laughs> oh, trust me, it's gonna help. Our designs are complete now, so it is time for Andrew and I to go to the store and we have to each buy at least two products. And as a bonus, whoever gets the most pictures taken of them at the store, the other person wins since the other person designed their outfit. So it's like a little competition as well. All right, pulling up to the store right now. So far, everyone I've seen does have a mask on. I'm just not like this particular model yet, but once I see it, they will be jealous and want to get one. You know, when I evaluate this mask, I haven't put it on yet, but this does offer a good full like face inclusion. So maybe this is like safer in a way. Probably not though. What I'm gonna do is put her goggles on. Helmet on. Barry, I promise you do not want to go with Terry. <laughs> I have to tape on my arms. Okay. This is very awkward. I just have to go in now. Okay, I'm already being laughed at. I see people laughing at me. But it's okay because I am protected. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Yes. Please do. I got it. Tell you. I was so taking pictures tonight. Really bad. Six feet don't need here. I have a coupon for this baby food, so that's what I'm getting today. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. My goggles are really fogging up. I can't see anything in here. Yeah, thank you. I ripped a hole in my bag. I'm no longer safe. Oh, finally. My goggles were getting so sweaty I couldn't see anything. And my glove ripped, so I'm not protected anymore. Ow! <laughs> Why would you put it under your arm? I didn't know where I was putting it. Now it's stuck to my armpit hair. <laughs> you gotta rip it. Ah! 
Sanitize. Okay, take this off. That was definitely a very awkward moment. Since everyone else is wearing masks, you don't really feel too out of place, and I did get three pictures total, so. What? <laughs> I just pulled up to the store, guys. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I do not remember the last time I felt this awkward. <laughs> I've been sitting outside the grocery store for like five minutes now, and I'm just like, oh, this is gonna be so awkward because there's a line outside of the grocery store because they can only let so many people in at once. I'm just... Duh. Well, here goes nothing, everybody. Walking up to the store right now. Here's my uh, clip. Man, I feel awkward. Did I say that already? Here's the line. Oh, Some people are looking at me strange. Hello. <laughs> I just made it into the store. Thankfully, I don't need a shopping cart or a basket because I got my handy dandy clothespins. <laughs> oh, yes. These are delicious. Must get. Uh -huh. What else do I need? Maybe some cookies, maybe some crackers. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you gotta have some fun with it, right? Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Going great, bro. You? Yeah. Oh, I think we're good. Oh. Yeah, that is quick. See ya. All right, guys. It's like Andrew got three people to take pictures with him, and I also got three people to take pictures with me. So it looks like it's gonna be a tie. But we're gonna leave it up to you guys. Whose costume was better? Vote in the poll up here. But other than that, make sure to click up here to watch the go-kart video we did. Pretty epic one. And as always, make sure you're live day. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'm done being awkward now. <laughs>